confirmed. Charles carefully instructed the staff banned to invite Harry and Meghan on my birthday. Hello, friends. Welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. A source claims that King Charles is becoming sad, bewildered, and frustrated about Prince Harry's actions. The 38-year-old Duke of Sussex recently made a quick trip to the UK to testify in the mirror phone hacking trial, where he was subjected to cross-examination after becoming the first member of the royal family to do so since the 1890s. Although they lived less than half a mile from where he was staying, Prince Harry did not take the time to speak with them. He is also unlikely to run across them at the king's impending birthday festivities, to which it is said he has not been invited. Consequences for his own actions. One can't repeatedly criticize their own family members for financial gain and expect to be welcomed at family events to gather info for another tell-all book. Ironic that Meghan cut off her own father for selling info to the tabloids. What is the difference for Harry? The father of two has often been criticizing the firm since resigning from his royal responsibilities. In his incendiary memoir, Spare, he even called Queen Camilla, 75, a wicked stepmother and revealed how he urged Charles, 74, not to wed her. The best and healthiest thing to do is to stop including Harry and Meghan in anything. He will only find something to complain about it afterward. He attends only to show his face anyway, to remind the masses he has this royal connection, which he keeps cashing off of. Please don't give him more content for future books and interviews. The king is allegedly becoming more frustrated with his youngest son's behavior, according to a person close to him who spoke to the Times. The king brings Harry up every time I see him, the source claimed. We are still upset and confused, in my opinion, but there is a little more annoyance with his behavior because it continues to happen. When a parent is in this situation, they can't believe for a long time that this is how it is and will be and hope that it will change and that they will wake up. They don't. It won't. But when you love your child as you do, you hope that it will change. But eventually you understand that you need to let it go. That there's nothing you can do because you will always be wrong and they will always be right. There was a rule that it's not always the children who do that. It's just as often parents trying to force them to accept ill treatment or try to make them do as they wish, taking away their freedom of choice. And if they won't, things start going wrong especially if the parents involve siblings, too. The king is not alone. Many of us have children who we've loved unconditionally only for them to behave in ways we cannot understand. Like the king, I have two, the complete opposite of each other. Many tears were shed and hopes and dreams were shattered. There would come a time to choose between your adult child and your own sanity. Devastating. Charles will come to understand that in time, but in grief and feelings of failure, they never go away. You can understand that while you made mistakes, you did your best, and that compared to many millions of others, they did have a good life, but the pain walks with you. Obviously, Harry's childhood wasn't as bad as he made out. There is proof that his father hugged him and cared for him, and that they had a loving relationship. It must be heartbreaking for his father and William must be absolutely bewildered by it all. Harry and Meghan have no family on either side apart from Meghan's mother. That says it all for me. Archie and Lilibet have no cousins. Charlotte, George, and Louis would have loved playing with them. Such a shame. If adult children cannot show respect to their parents and family, then they should not be part of that family. Why would a family want someone at their gatherings, celebrations, who has made it clear that they dislike them and their lifestyle? Say goodbye to them, grieve the relationship, and then move on with your life without them. As Megan said, life is about thriving, and that means banishing toxic people from your life. Being frustrated and bewildered is long past what we expect from King Charles. This errant son of yours is doing immense harm to the monarchy, 
and you need to get a grip of the situation before it is too late. William would have dealt with him long ago, I have no doubt. He needs to be removed from the line of succession for a start, and so does Andrew. Harry claimed the press hated him from the day he was born and made his life terrible by posting private things about him, like his broken thumb. Yet his family loved him from the day he was born, and for over three years he has written and spoken and exposed incredibly hateful and private things about the family who loved him. However, he still wants to be called HRH Prince Harry. Go figure. After celebrating his daughter Lilibet's birthday with her, Prince Harry returned to the UK on Sunday. The judge chastised him for missing the first day of his testimony against the Mirror newspaper group since he was absent. He traveled to the UK to testify over the course of two days in his case against Mirror Group newspapers, MGN, on allegations that its writers wrote 140 stories that were published between 1996 and 2010 using hacking, blagging, and other unlawful tactics of deceit. On Wednesday, the Duke seemed on the verge of tears as he concluded his historic day and a half of testimony, making history by becoming the first royal to testify in court in more than a century. The Duke revealed details of his tumultuous love life, including a visit to a strip club during a tumultuous final few hours on the witness stand. MGN disputes Perry's assertions that he has either refuted or refused to concede that publications about Harry that were subject to the trial's examination constituted phone hacking or other illegal behavior. According to reports, the prince arrived in California on Thursday night, which means he left Britain at noon on the same day, making this trip a repeat of the one he made during King Charles's coronation last month. According to the Telegraph, he remained at Frogmore Cottage for three nights, but it is anticipated that this will be his final trip to the house he formerly occupied with his wife because his father kicked him out in the early summer. The Duke of Sussex left a copy of his candid memoir, Spare, for a flight attendant on a Friday journey to the U.S. as a considerate gesture. Using a photo of a happy Prince Harry on an American Airlines flight, TikToker and flight attendant Holden Pattern disclosed that the prince had been given a copy of the Duke's book, which was published in January. Pilot and travel influencer Mr. Pattern described Prince Harry as a passenger prince and claimed he had just found this book in my luggage that a passenger gave me. Prince Harry is wearing a plain black t-shirt and trousers in the photo of the Duke with the cabin staff worker, a far cry from the expertly cut clothes he wears for his court appearances. What do you think about the sadness that Charles is suffering because of Harry? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.